hello guys welcome to my this video and today in this angular tutorial just i will show you how to add data dynamically in a table and the next video i will show you how to hide column of a table because my own viewer asked me to make this video so that's why first of all you have to be understand how to add data dynamically in a table right most of the viewers know how to add data dynamically in a table but guys that time they add data dynamically in this table body but sometime we need to add table heading dynamically also so that how you can do that i will show you in this video so here you can see i have already added a table and this is very basic table you can see the table heading and the heading is name and address and these are the data if i show the preview so you can see name and address is the table heading and these are the table data so now these are static way but actually in real life project we get the data from api and after that we display the data in our table okay so that time we don't know what data we will receive from api right so that time we we don't use table static way we add data dynamically so guys here i don't have the any api so here i will create an array because when we receive data from an api that time we get the data from you as an array format or object format so here i will create an array so i open app component.ps file and here i will create an array type is any and here just i will create multiple object so first thing is name name is a which data i have added here statically so that thing actually i will create inside an array okay and after that this array i will add dynamically inside this table so here first of all the key or you can say is the object property so name and address okay so name name is a and address address is here i will write a d d one okay but you can write anything our main motive is to show data dynamically so the data you can add anything but just focus on the functionality and same thing i will copy and here i will paste data just i will change here b name is b and here i will add a d d two i mean address two okay so i have created an array so now just assume this array i'm getting from api because now right now i don't have the api so here assume this array i'm getting from api so now this array data i have to be so dynamically in this table so what we do mostly so just we remove the row just i will keep it one row and here i will add ng for off loop so ng for and let a variable name i have to be right so i will write any name of this variable and you can do the same and off and then this array right because inside this array i have added a data or we can assume this array i'm getting from api so i will copy this array variable name because here inside this array variable i i have all the data so now this one okay that means this array variables data i have stored in this inside this arr variable so now all the data whatever in this array variable it now it is it is an arr variable so here i have to be bind so first of all arr and we bind using interpolation so arr dot first thing i have to be bind that is name after that address okay so name and then like this arr dot address so i will copy this one and just here i will paste okay so save and the html file i have to be saved and the ts file i have to be saved also and now here you can see it's not changed because first of all i was showing as a statically and now you can see i'm showing it dynamically you can see this one i'm getting from this array okay so most of the viewers know how to show the data dynamically but sometime we need to show dynamically this heading also why that i will show you right now so now guys suppose you you are showing this data now dynamically suppose inside this api it's added a new 
property that is called email and email is a at the rate gmail.com and here also same b email first of all the property and the value is b at the rate gmail.com like this way so if i save so you will find here the data it's not added i mean the updated data it's not added here you can see so it's it is wrong right because suppose if suddenly change any data in this api so that i will get in this array variable right i mean in this array but here now i'm not getting the data so that time this way we will not add data dynamically so that time what we will do so just here i will write a function like get data suppose this is our get data method and in this or you can say it function and inside this function just i will get the data from api okay so what i will do first of all here i will create two variable two array variable one is tab key the type is any and this variable is also an array type and another is tab uh, value okay you can write any name of this variable that's totally depend on you and this two variable is an array type so now first of all i will remove this email property which i have added okay and now guys here here you can see i have added a myth function okay so now here suppose now i will hit the api inside this function okay so what we would do we would write the api so now i have i am getting the data inside this array just i am assuming okay so now in this array i have to be separate the key and also the value so how i can do that just simply here i will write this dot array dot for each you can just i will remove this one so this dot array dot for each i mean this array variable okay so this one i am using a for each loop and here i have to be set the type of this element otherwise i was getting error so type is any okay so now if i write console dot log and element i mean this one so let's see what i will get so i will open the console so first of all i am not getting anything because i have added a method or you can say it function but this one i have to be called inside this ng on in it or constructor so i will call it inside this constructor because guys this method i have to be called in on load and i already said when we want to call on load any anything so that time we use constructor or ng on it so this method i called inside this constructor so now if i save this one so after reloaded you can see i'm getting the data as an object format you can see here name first of all this one and after that this one okay so now from this object i will separate the key okay and i will separate the values okay so now here just i will write first of all key i will separate key so here i will write this dot tab key equals to okay so inside this tab key here i will add object okay this is the pre default javascript method object dot keys and in this element variable i was getting as an object so just here i will write inside this keys parenthesis i will write any element okay and now just here if i write console dot log if i write this dot tab key so let's see what i will get so you will find i will get the key separately you can see name and address i am getting separately right inside this tab key variable so now when i am receiving the key as an array format so here instead of key static way i can add the key dynamically also so now just here what i will do this one i will remove because this th i will write as an loop so ng for this one okay and same thing i mean how to write the for of loop i hope you know because i already have shown here so same way i will add a variable the variable name i will write key of and this key 
I I I was receiving in this tap key variable because when I was console this one tap key so I was getting the key separately okay so now this tap key okay and now this key I will bind here using interpolation like this so now you will find the key I will get as an dynamical you can see no change because now I am getting the key as an dynamically way okay so now so same way just you can see here I have assigned key object using object dot keys javascript predefined method so now here I will do one thing the tab value so here I will let this dot tab value dot push but here you can notice just I am using push not equals to but before I, I had used equals to so why I am using push method so that I will show you can see key name is similar always name name address and here also address but the values is the different different so that time here I used for that equals to because I don't have to be push multiple data because similar data a key is the same okay so that's why equals to but here I'm using push push method means first of all that value of name it will push a and after that again it will push b okay so that is the difference between equals to and push because I have to be push multiple data I mean I have to add multiple data so that's why I am using push method but here I have to push add the same same data because key name is always same you can see so that's why I used here equals to so now inside this push method so just here I will write object dot values this is also beautiful JavaScript method and here I will write element okay so now inside this console instead of tab key I will write tab value so now you will find I will get the value as an dynamically in inside this array so if I open this array so you can see first value is a, a is the name and add1 is the address and after that b and add2 so this value I have to be at dynamic way here okay so now here you can see just I have to be at uh, just I will remove this one first of all let arr that's fine but array i i will not use now this variable because now forget this one because this one i have stored in this tab value variable after using for each loop so i will use this tab value okay and i will remove the td i have to be at two for of loop here because if I show here you can see first of all it's an array and after that inside an array I'm getting the value I mean two array here okay so that's why I have to be at two for of loop just remember here so now again here I have to be at another for of loop so for of and again late and I will write val val only of this arr okay i hope it's clear that means guys first of all inside this arr variable i'm using a for of loop and i store tab value which the value i have stored in this variable right and i will remove the console also so this one in this tab value variable so that means whatever data i was getting in this tab value variable so that i store in this array that means one first array loop I have done here and inside this array there was an another array I already shown in a console so that time this array I also added a for of loop and now I am I have taken value of this array okay so guys actually I have to bind value so now you will find I will get data dynamically okay so now if you are thinking what is the difference I mean what is the benefit for showing the data like this way so now guys suppose suppose the data i mean any anything is update in the api right now suppose here it's added another uh prop object property called email and if it's added a dot at the rate a at the rate uh, gmail dot com like this way and also here email okay and here i will at b at the rate gmail.com so now here you can see data one 
object property it's added in the api suppose just assume here so before i i was not getting the updated object property in the table but if i show like this way dynamically also the table came I mean, in this way so that time if i update any object property i mean if i add so you can see i'm getting here so that is the benefit whatever value will be update in this api so i don't have to be do it will get automatically you can see so that is actually dynamic way and this is very important so i hope it's clear and guys in the next video just i will show you how to hide the column of an table key okay and that also the important thing so i will add the checkbox and when i will click on the checkbox so that time i will hide the table data or when i will uncheck the yes one so i will also show the table column okay and table data so that one i will show you in the next video i hope this one is clear if you find this video is helpful so please like this video and if you want to get more updates so please subscribe my channel and also press the notification bell icon